there, there's an awful lot of wishful thinking going on within the Conservative leadership race about this plan, about the Rwanda plan. There's an awful lot of um, comforting stories that people are telling themselves about how this can be dealt with very quickly by sending those who wish to make a claim for asylum in this country off to Rwanda to make a claim for Rwanda, even though they don't want to, they want to do it here. The reality is, I think, that there's a very, very strong case that the government have actually made all this worse. They, they've, they've made the number of people coming over higher it's completely not their intention, but that, in the end, what has happened through two, actually three, things. The first is there is no Dublin agreement. There is no specific agreements from the UK with other countries around Europe to be able to send back to those countries people who arrive on these shores. How did that happen? It's because we left the EU. Why couldn't we get those agreements in place? Because they were incredibly hard to negotiate. They weren't necessarily entirely in the other countries' interests. They were mainly in our interests. Um, and we haven't been able to fix them since leaving because, you know, why would those other countries accede to our request again? Second point is the Rwanda plan itself. If you put in place a policy that you're not sure you can literally make happen from day one of its announcement, which is specifically what the government did, because actually what they wanted in to fill the void between Rwanda being announced and Rwanda maybe happening was the row about legality. It was the woke lawyers, it was the woke media, it was the, the baddies, you know, the lefty baddies saying, blah, 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 you can't possibly do this, Rwanda's terrible. All words to that effect. It's their fault, they're stymieing Britain from what Britain really needs. And what happens when you, when you fill the void with just vacuous nonsense is it has real implications. And the real implications may well have been that the people smugglers and those who were making their journeys hear about this policy and the suggestion does the rounds that, right, get in faster, move quicker, make it happen now before this kicks in because there is a gap and, and get over the channel. I mean, it helps that it's summer and it helps that the weather's better. But do you not think that that might have made this worse unintentionally, added potentially to the number of people trying to make their way across the channel now because there is this lag between policy being announced and policy being delivered or is that someone who is clearly believes that this isn't going to work and it isn't going to work in this current form it is not going to work brackets that's why these candidates are slightly bending the truth in saying that they support this Rwanda policy they don't there is no this Rwanda policy it doesn't exist <laughs> Rishi Sunak's answer, I think, is at least a better answer, a more realistic proposal than this trust is, is, which, as on the face of it, as I can see it, is just send more. More of them should go. How? Don't know. Where? Don't know. But more. In the same way that we can save eight billion quid by cutting the pay to civil servants outside of London in co to be commensurate with their cost of living, even though it doesn't make eight billion quid, and that would include the health service, and we've not really planned for that either. But yeah, it's just I, I, I'm we're at the stage now where they just shouldn't bother. Don't bother with new policies every day. We know they're made up on the back of a fag packet. We know they're not probably going to happen. Don't I, I honestly. Don't bother with manifestos during a general election. Make one, two, three, four, five key pledges and then that'll do. Don't need the rest of it because nobody really thinks they're going to hold you to it. Just deal with the reality, please, in detail. 0345 6060 973, the reality in detail is that 700 near enough migrants cross the channel today. Record numbers, possibly 60,000 this year. What, what are you going to do with it? And do you think the government have accidentally made things worse? 11.16.